Nice name. Season two in Manhattan for National Coach of the Year, Jerome Tang, as the Cats begin a new chapter after last year's run to the Elite Eight. Welcome to Bramlage in tonight's exhibition game between K-State and Emporia State. Ben Boyle, Stan Weber, great to have you back with us. And guards are focused tonight, and two really good ones, Tyler Perry and Owen Long. Tyler Perry will be at K-State this year after finishing off at North Texas last year, leading his team to the NIT Championship. He was a Conference USA Player of the Year and a high-level scorer for K-State. Speaking of scores, Owen Long averaged 17 points last year for Emporia State. They had a big-time season. They went to the NCAA Tournament, won a game for the first time at Emporia State, and this year with almost all the returning players back, they are picked second in the MIAA. Owen Long, the lefty, a very good player. Tyler Perry, a third-team preseason All-American by field of 68. And the man with the mission of replacing the incomparable Marquise Noel, who led K-State on that magical run to the Elite Eight at Madison Square Garden. And season two for Jerome Tang and the Wildcats is underway. And it is Perry to run this new look offense, Stan Weber, this year. What will we see from the Wildcats? We're well, going to see them play as much as they can out near the arc. They're going to want the open lane so that anybody can drive the basketball and get there without help defense. Can hits for three. Jerome Tink said he had a great summer, and he needs him to be a weapon, and what a start to the season. Yeah, he was a role player on that team last year and did it very, very well, but he now needs to step up and be one of the leading scoring options. Hitting his three there shows you he can get it done. Here's Owen Long, guarded by Carter. Long averaging better than 17 a game a year ago as Emporia State really had their best season since they uh, became a Division II program back in 1991 under Craig Doty. He's done a tremendous job. In his sixth year, he has Emporia State's basketball team playing at a very high level. And they're aggressive. They're going to drive the ball to the basket. They've got a number of guys, four different returning starters. One of the starters last year transferred to South Dakota. But otherwise, he's looking at a veteran team that knows how to win. 23-9 and nine for the Hornets a year ago. And this should be their best team as they've got their top four players back. And last year, most wins in a season, most wins in the MIAA, and their first ever win in the NCAA Division II tournament. And they're back looking for more this year. Picked second in the preseason of the MIAA behind national power Northwest Missouri. Yeah, significant to win an NCAA tournament game, 72 to 51 versus number 18, Northern State. Taj Manning getting the start at the four spot here. The redshirt freshman out of Grandview, Missouri. Of course, Naquan Tomlin suspended indefinitely for the K-State program. No timetable on that as he works through the process. Here's Arthur Kalar. Spins in the reverse, and he is fouled. I don't think anybody's going to enjoy this offense and the new look that Jerome Tang has put together more than this young man. Arthur Kaluma coming from Creighton, loves to drive the ball to the basket. He has a great ability to keep under control, spin the ball in different directions, as you see there, and he's physical. He doesn't mind getting bumped on the way to the basket. Plays with a lot of confidence and energy, and so with him and Perry in the starting lineup, uh, expected that along with Cam Carter returning, really expected to carry K-State offensively, especially in the early going here. Yeah, we'll see how this offense runs and where they're going to get their scoring from the big guys who will be willing to be a ways away from the basket. So it's, it's a, a big adjustment for the big guys. And a block call on Tyler Perry. And Stan, let's get a look at your keys to victory. Well, first of all, for K-State, you got to set the tone at home. They were so good last year, 15-1 to 1 here at Bramlage Coliseum. And then they need to test this new offense for Emporia State. They're going to try to compete tonight. They would like to learn a lot about their team and have any chance. They need to limit their turnovers, and they need to rebound. Now, I could add the limit the turnovers and rebound to the K-State list, but we're not going to have four on one side or two on the other because, as you know, that FAU game in Elite Eight, K-State got out-rebounded tremendously. It's been a big focus for K-State all offseason. Oh, with deep range, hits for three, and Emporia State's on the board. He had 90 threes a year ago, connected on 38% of them. That's what he's looking for, and he'll step back into that shot. So even if you're guarded, you got to be careful of him hitting his shot. Nice start. 
Out of bounds, and K-State will keep it. Day-Day Ames, the talented freshman out of Chicago into the lineup for Tyler Perry to run the point here. He wears number four. So K-State returning three starters. They've got four guys out of the portal who are all veterans, and then a top 25 uh, trio of freshmen. Here's Carter again for three, not this time. Strong rebound by Peyton Roger Schmidt. Emporia State will have many guys run to the board. There's a little bit of a travel after the catch by Owen Long got in a hurry. Emporia State would love to sprint the ball up the court, get some fast breaks. They would rather do it by passing the ball up the sideline so they immediately can get into some offensive action on one side. And if they don't have it there, reverse it to the other side. This team believes in analytics. You know, they don't have the biggest budget compared to some other programs, but boy, they monitor everything they can. Get the data analytics going. They stat up every practice to make sure everybody knows what their shooting percentage is. They are trying to do it at a high level. Carter loses the handle. Break opportunity for the Hornets. Good challenge by Kaluma on the layup by Kamathir, and here come the Cats. Cats want to run. Jerome Tang wants to play fast. Here's an early look for Carter. He reverses it in. Good drive there because when he went along the baseline, there was help defense. K-State hopes they're going to limit the help defense by spreading things out. But Emporia State rotated well. He just went right by the defender and had a reverse layup. You can see the confidence with Cam Carter. Solomon Arebu off the window. They're expecting big things from him. Transfer out of Ferris State, where he averaged better than 18 a game last year. He loves to drive, and he is the new starter on this team. So it's good that he has an aggressive attitude right now, not deferring to the others. David Gasson, too strong on a three, and K State's over the back. The foul is going to be on Arthur Kaluma. And so far, you've seen the Hornets get back and get in defensive rebounding position. Four different guys clogging the lane, forcing K-State to go over the top. The other two grad transfers on the floor now. Quez Glover, who just checked in, and Will McNair was in at the previous uh, dead ball. So they're both in the lineup now. Number zero, Quez Glover, just got here to K-State on August 18th. He actually spent the summer at BYU before deciding to come to K-State. was a player at Sanford last year. Rebu trying to back him down, and they're going to count it as he reverses it off the glass and a foul on Glover. Nice move by Rebu as the last four. And he can tie it up here at the free throw line. And Craig Doty's ball club, especially Solo Orebu, is driving the ball and forcing K State to play one on one defense. And he is his physicality and understanding where the basket is at all times has been pretty impressive to start this game. Five in a row for the junior from Chicago, and we're tied up at eight. Data surveys, hands off to Carter. Carter down the lane, he's bumped and fouled. And now they'll send us to a timeout. Cam Carter off to a quick start for the Wildcats. He's got five of the first eight as we open exhibition play tonight from Bramlage Coliseum. However you do the holidays, do it together in the Chevy that's However you do the holidays, do it together in the Chevy that's Equinox or the all new Chevy Trax. This holiday season, do more together in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get $2,000 total cash allowance on this Silverado. Chevrolet, together let's drive. BK Royal Crispy Wraps Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack Only $2.99 It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand And BK Have it your way Discover different Black Friday deals at Target each week
Black Friday deals you can't miss. Get low prices and early Black Friday deals at Target. We want it all. We want beards and lattes. Great. Oh. We want to be invited Great. and not attend. Great. We want to take the shortcut. <laughs> you lost. And not be in danger. Reverse. Sadly, we can't have it all, except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips, it's a game changer. Welcome back to Big 12 Now. I'm Sophie Smith. The theme for this Kansas State basketball team is all in. Coach Tang explained how they need everyone to be all in, to the custodian staff, to the faculty, and everyone needs to truly believe that they can win a national championship this season. Thank you, Sophie. And the Cats got really close last year, Stan. As you, as you look back on, really, it was a dream season, kind of like a movie script that was written in Hollywood from you know, some of those big wins in Texas and beating Kansas at home and then to get to Madison Square Garden by beating Kentucky and then the, the magical overtime win with the, the called alley hoop from half court for Marquise Goel to Keontae Johnson. I guess the question, what what is Coach Tang doing on, for an encore this year? Well, he says think about a national championship and he really believes that. He said that in his first introductory press conference, but who would have thought he would end to the Elite Eight in his first season? So it's an amazing coaching staff. Getting the players to believe is a big thing. But remember last year's squad ended up, when it was all said and done, and with the development from Coach Tang and his staff, two of the guys are in the NBA right now as the season unfolds. So great job by those two guys, and you need to reset. But the development of a guy at the free throw line, Cam Carter, you know, the role he played last year is completely different than what he needs to do now. He needs to take on a leadership role and be a scorer. Now, the leadership role issue is one that they're still trying to work out. Right. Coach talks about that. Hey, I'm taking tickets. Whoever would like to be a big leader, because Marquise Noel was so good at it last year for K-State. He kind of had the perfect new player uh, at, at K-State, and now he doesn't have him around. Nice backdoor cut. And we're tied again at 10. Quickly up the floor, Day-Day Ames, and that's kicked out of bounds. The Rebu's got the last seven now for the Hornets. Dorian Finister in as David Gasson checks out. KC rotating a number of players in. That's the ninth player already in for the Wildcats. You mentioned leadership of focus early on here for Coach Tang and also consistency. He's still looking for consistency really across the board from his entire roster from day to day inside the will McNair the catch and the big fellow with the finish he's big traditional center type of player using his strength to get the ball inside but you have a number of players turned over for this K-State team and that's why exhibitions are really good for basketball to learn some of those things about your team Carter explodes up the floor Cam Carter with nine early points in the first five minutes. Taking it right to the rim on the left side. Roger Schmidt there, their best defender, but he was able to score the ball right past it. Long isolated. Deep three off the back iron. Long rebound to Glover. There's that step back that Owen Long will try. Galuma from the corner. Kept alive by McNair. Galuma again at this time and rebounded by Roger Schmidt. Here come the Hornets and Long. Kuma, 31% three point shooter. So it's going to be interesting to see how these guys choose. When do they want to launch the basketball? As long as the ball is passed well inside out, that increases your percentages tremendously. Arebu with a nifty move, and he's got nine to match the nine from Carter. It's the Carter and Arebu show here from Bramlage tonight in the first six minutes. Kaluma with the hero step, floats one in, he's got five. For all the talk about the play out by the arc, it's the guys driving it to the basketball, just like the old days, getting in for high percentage shots. 
crafty. Oraybu has been very good for Emporia State to start the game. Losing the handle is Octavian Butler, and the Hornets will turn it over. They're actually going to give the ball to Emporia State and oh, say it's off the Wildcats. Perry back in for the Cats, and Jarrell Colbert, 6'10", redshirt sophomore out of Houston, Texas, gets his first minutes. Yeah, very interested in seeing how he plays and Taj Manning, who got the start. Those two guys are around K-State's program all last season, just didn't get into any games as they redshirted. See the five out look, but what they want is movement. Off ball movement. Glover. Back to the three. Quez Glover. The grad transfer out of Knoxville, Tennessee, knocks one down. Fifth year senior, a very good shooter. And that's the theme of K State basketball. If things play out like they have in practice so far, some really good guard shooting. Isolation play, and that drops for Octavian Butler. Butler taking advantage of the opportunity to get more minutes. Last year, he had only one start. There's the offside block. Talked about Peyton Roger Smith. He's a good shot blocker. Very good defensive player. MIAA all defensive team a year ago. He's a junior out of Wisconsin. Caden Evans, number 24, is back in for the Hornets. K-State likely to play a lot more players tonight. You can play this game, this exhibition, it's still redshirt, so you want to give as many guys a look as you can, even if you're going to redshirt him a little bit later. Jerome Tang has got to make that decision. Finister lost the handle. Might have slipped on the floor there a little bit. K-State turns it over. Emporia State, on the other hand, has a little bit smaller bench right now because Darius Yohi, Drew Tenille, a couple of players that they want to play and hope will have back soon are not available tonight for Emporia State. Butler. Kicks it out to Kamathir. Long rebound. Here come the Cats. Skip pass. Glover turns down the three. Lob inside to Colbert. And the baby hook drops for Jarrell Colbert. Colbert was not ready for the alley-oop, but that did not stop him from a fundamental move. And he went back up at his own time. He's able to get the score up down low. Certainly stand with Naquan Tomlin out. There's minutes there available to be earned for guys like Terrell Colbert, Taj Manning getting the start tonight, and perhaps others. Yeah, that's right, Ben. And the other thing that you might see is David Gasson may play a different role because Naquan was so long and fast. But Gasson could do a lot of the same things. He's just not quite as big as Naquan Tama, but opportunities for him. Remember last year, he only shot six three-pointers, but he made three. So can he replicate a good three-point shooting? When he gets more opportunities, we'll see. Kaluma into Colbert, who's fouled going up. And that'll send us to a break. K-State up by six. You're watching Big 12 now on ESPN+. Plus. Introducing the new and improved taste of Pepsi Zero Sugar. Now more delicious. Zero never tasted so good. Try it now. Hi, this is Coach Tang, and we're used to talking about all things basketball. But right now, I want you to hear these four important words about the growing crisis of drug overdose. One pill can kill. Here's one way you can help. If you know someone at risk, be prepared with a life-saving medication called naloxone. This nasal spray can reverse the symptoms of an overdose and save lives. Get it free from the Kansas Naloxone program by visiting kdads.ks.gov. Um, you know with the new Rivalry Riches instant ticket from the Kansas Lottery, you're supposed to scratch both sides. Suit yourselves. But with Rivalry Riches, you could scratch your way up to $50,000. Just be sure to play both sides. Catch Coach Tang and the Cats in KC on Thursday, December 21st versus Wichita State in the T-Mobile Center. There's the lob. And the stop is perfect. What a play. A 
about this crowd tonight? Electric. How about that? Jerome Tang loves it. To get started, just $15 with a Wildcat 4-pack. Long jumper for Carter. Good! He's got it! Our fans were incredible. Yep. The excitement, the energy. Oh, it was just incredible. Go Cats! You're getting thirsty. Bold. Refreshing. So good. <clears throat> I mean, dude. dude. We started at 12, went an 11 deep. And dropping down since 9-6. What happened when the Big A met the Southwest? Seven Heisman's. Count them. We're six at the net, five on the floor, and four schools stronger. We put up threes, throw up deuces, and make one thing clear. We've always been greater than 12. K-State up 20 to 14 about midway through the first half. You see Craig Doty in the middle huddling with his team now in his sixth season stand when he took over the program. He inherited a team that finished last in the MIAA and has really done a great job rebuilding this program and now in a position this year not just to win a game in the Division II tournament but make a run. Yeah, pick second in the MIAA preseason poll behind Northwest Missouri State. The establishment of excellence is there and he's got a lot of returning starters but they've really started a trend of playing good basketball you know, the last three years, they've had a 500 better record in, in MIAA conference play. That's the first time they've ever had that at Emporia State. And then they had two 20-win seasons in a row, which is the best since 1987 to 1990 when they had three. So things are really consistently being done well under Craig Doty. And he believes that this could be the best basketball team if they continue to work coming off that great season last year. A lot of expectations. He talked to us yesterday about the culture that's been established, not just within the men's basketball program, but throughout the athletic department with the president and athletic director Dave Spafford, who we know from his days at Kansas State, and how the culture has, has changed really from previously being how do we do more with less to now let's think bigger, and Craig Doty certainly leading the charge. Uh, in building this men's basketball program for the Hornets. Yeah, their athletic department has got up to $9 million. Is a great block here by Colbert. So you see the replay here coming from behind without fouling. Oh, they said he did foul. Jerome Tang could not believe it. it. Looked like it was pretty clean, but David Spafford played football at K-State. Now in his second year as the AD, part of that $9 million budget. And then, how about the president, Ken Hush? He was the CEO of BLI Rentals before he became the president recently of Emporia State. He's an 82 grad. He went into the Hall of Fame at Emporia State for sports in 1995 because he was a great tennis player. So the guy comes from the business world into academia, and you're seeing a coaching staff that's very excited about having these guys in the leadership role. Speaking of talking about the president, how about K-State's president, Richard Linton? He's battling some issues, some health issues, and seems to be doing very well on campus now. Not able to go out and about as much as he'd like, but it's great to have him back, and we want to send out all our best wishes to him. Absolutely. And inside, David Gasson gets his first bucket. Now, both of these athletic programs and universities in general with a lot of positive things happening as Owen Long hits another three. He's got two triples in the first half. Now K-State turns it over in the backcourt. Got in a hurry and stepped over the line throwing it in. Got a fundamental play you cannot allow happen. You see Owen Long there. Jerome Tang in his second year. What a great crowd of students here tonight. He's connected with them so well. He came here early and we're rocking the place during warm-ups in an exhibition game. I mentioned Gene Taylor, the athletic director at K-State. He's had a pretty good run hiring these coaches the way he has. You know, he's on the college football playoff committee, so he's been spending some time down in Dallas. Tuesday was the first time we've had a college football playoff ranking this year, so he's done a lot of work, and K-State comes in at number 23 in that poll. 
Butler with the athletic finish as the Hornets hang around here in the first half. Carter splits two defenders and picks up a foul. Yeah, there's just a few uh, big games in the Big 12 this Saturday, Stan, and I know you'll be in Austin as K-State takes on the Longhorns. Yeah, you look at the top of the conference, everybody has a loss in football right now, and not everybody plays the same schedule, not like last year where he played the same nine. There's a big mixture in who has what left, but Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, you got to mention that because with OU going to the SEC next year, when will Oklahoma State and OU play football again? You just don't know, and what a big game it is, is they're both tied for first place, as are K-State and Texas who play. And in Kansas, who beat Oklahoma last week to get their first loss, goes to Iowa State, and the Cyclones have bounced back. They also have only one yet loss in conference play in football. Cam Carter's got 11. Ten minutes in here in the first half. You see a little bit of his different responsibility. Here's K-State finally getting to push the basketball. Carter with 13. Coast to coast for the lay-in. He's been the lead guy scoring the basketball. Go back to last year. We talked about his role-playing ability. He only had eight double-figure scoring games last year for K-State. Jerome Tang talked yesterday about he needs to be a bucket. <laughs> he has been a bucket in this first half to the tune of 13 points. Good defense not reaching by Kaluma. Day Day to the left hand. In the last few possessions, the difference for K-State, which forces a timeout by Emporia State's Craig Doty, as K-State's finally getting to run down the court rather than have to set up and work with that new offense. What they really want to do with their offense is beat the other team down the court and attack the basket. Starting on this end with good defense. And Ames with the finish. Now, Emporia State is not playing many guys, and they looked a little bit tired right there, not coming all the way back to the paint and stopping the driver, just leaving a one on one situation, and that is not going to be good news for Craig Doty. So he calls timeout as the Wildcats have now started to separate and lead by 11. K State's played. Almost everybody to this point, they've played 11 different guys, and R.J. Jones, another talented freshman guard, into the action now for Jerome Tang. One of the top recruits out of the state of Texas and a great shooter with range. Saw a little bit of that in the summer trip that the Wildcats took to Israel and Abu Dhabi played three games over there. What an advantage that is. Once every four years, you get a chance to take a trip. Play some foreign competition. Backcourt pressure from K-State. Long able to get it into the front court and set, set it up for the Hornets. And to the monitor from K-State's perspective is that they have two freshman guards on the court. Hassan with the block on McGee. Back to Carter. Weak side board to Roger Schmidt. They got the shot they wanted, though, to penetrate and kick back for the open three-pointer. McGee bounced it into Roger Schmidt, who's fouled going up. Good reaction by Peyton Roger Schmidt to flash. And come toward the basket after McGee was stuck on the baseline. They stayed at 61% early on here. Only two of eight from beyond the arc. They've done most of their damage in the paint. Emporia State almost matching that, though. Eight of 14 for 57% as Roger Schmidt hits the first free throw. Emporia State's longest losing streak last year was two games, and it only happened one time. That's how you put together a 23-win season. The MIAA is a good conference. Paloma isolated. Loses it going up. Carter steps back for three. And it rims out and now out of bounds to Emporia State. We've seen that Will McNair has been a big factor. He's got a, an ability to track the ball and go rebound on the offensive end, even though he's trying to stay away from the basket, not clog up the lane. When the shot goes up, you still want to have offensive rebounding. And so far, he's done a nice job of that to start this game. Nice 
crossover and the step back that is his move but leaves it short on the front rim tracked down by Kale McGee. McGee just doing all the dirty work. Caden Evans trying to back down Carter skip pass Roger Schmidt and a foul. Will McDare gets called for the foul with his left hand, and it ends up therefore being a mistake you do not want to have occur. Don't foul somebody shooting a three-pointer, but he thought he was in good position to block that shot. Good ball movement over to the side. And then going up, did he get part of the hand? The uh, crowd did not agree with the whistle, let's put it that way. And there's some good video boards here in Bramley Coliseum. <laughs> yeah, and block. a brand new floor. Yeah. For the Wildcats. Sharp looking floor. Getting a stop in action and shoot some free throws, that really helps Emporia State because they're not using a lot of players. So just getting a little rest here and there would be very, very helpful in this first game of the year. Emporia State's coming at them in waves. Peyton Rogers Schmidt with five all from the free throw line. And the Hornets with the last five to get back within six. Glover now with the controls of the K-State offense. When you look out on the floor and you see Carter rising up for the slam on the feed from Glover. What a great pass by Quez Glover. Good recognition. Now that's what they want to see the players play off each other. It'd be a good basketball player with this new offense. Read things. It may be different every single time. You gotta have the flexibility to do what's needed. That time, KC ended it with a dunk. Cats up by eight as Cam Carter has 15. However, you do the holidays, do it together in the Chevy that's right for you. The strong and capable Chevy Silverado, the award-winning Chevy Equinox, or the all-new Chevy Trax. This holiday season, do more together in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups, or get $2,000 total cash allowance on this Silverado. Chevrolet, together let's drive. How'd you get that mixed with your combo? These fries and rings. At BK, you can build your combo. Frozen Coke, too? Yep, sides and drinks, too. BK, have it your way. Yeah, bro. Discover different Black Friday deals at Target each week. Black Friday deals you can't miss. Get low prices and early Black Friday deals at Target. We want it all. We want beards and lattes. Great. Oh. We want to be invited Great. and not attend. Great. We want to take the shortcut. <laughs> you lost. And not be in danger. Reverse. Sadly, we can't have it all. <laughs> except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. Since I was little, I wanted to be a part of a team. Come here, buddy. Nice shots. I've played just about every sport there is growing up. My mom's been there for me through every season. We'll get him next time. Mostly to keep me fueled and cheer me on. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Love you too. It took me a minute, but I finally found what I love. All thanks to her. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. K-State leading most of the way here in the first half behind 15 from Cam Carter, 32-24 with 7.40 left to go in the first half. And if you haven't seen the news, the college basketball world and the sports world 
mourns the loss of the legendary Bobby Knight, who passed today at the age of 83. And uh, what a what a figure he was, and a sportsman with three national titles at Indiana, and of course, Stan, the last team to run the table back in 1976 when the Hoosiers went 32 and 0. And we got a chance to know him a little bit when he was in the league here with Texas Tech. Yeah, coaching at Texas Tech, we actually broadcast a game that he coached right here in Bramlage Coliseum. He got to know him some. Then you saw him as an announcer as he got into that field with ESPN afterwards. But just a complete icon. And I think back to those days, you didn't get many teams in the tournament back then, yet he played against Michigan, a conference foe, to win that national championship in 1976, the last undefeated team in college basketball. Truly one of a kind. Bobby Knight is gone at the age of 83. Quez Glover drawing the foul and he'll be at the free throw line. Good foul shooter last year, 81% at Samford. So two years at Florida, then two years at Samford. And then he had committed to BYU, but then ended up here at Kansas State in mid-August. And Jerome Tang, happy to have him, says he brings leadership, scoring, and experience. And Keontae Johnson, a factor in getting him here as those two played together. At Florida. Both at Florida. Yeah, he got good detail. Like, what is it like to be a player at Kansas State? And Keontae could give him very recent information. Kayla Rich onto the floor wearing number 23. He goes by Buddy, a freshman out of St. Louis, and gets the steal and picks up a foul here. Explosive player. He's going to be fun to watch and we'll see what he does here in his first outing. RJ Jones back in, the freshman out of Denton, Texas. So again, two freshmen on the floor at guard, along with the transfer, Quez Glover. Drum Tang trying to see what kind of combinations work well together in this game. And to the backcourt, did K-State touch it? They did. Emporia State touched it, then it went off the fingertips of R.J. Jones, wearing number eight. College basketball used to have only the numbers one through five were allowed in any combination, but only those numbers. Like the NBA now, you can have the number eight or almost any number. Zero was the hot thing to start out with. Nice catch. Assist to Kaluma and McNair with the bucket. That's the kind of read they want in this offense. You may have an emphasis out on the outside, but you want to cut to the basket. You want to catch, there's no help defense. Big man showing off some hands there. He talked about his rebounding ability to go after the basketball, and he saw able to track a pass there. Air ball and kicked out of bounds to K-State. 36-24. Cats up by 12 now. Arthur Kaluma can really drive the basketball, but right here in a pick and roll, he recognizes he can get the ball inside to his big guy, Will McNair Jr. Really nice play. Bloom has been a giant factor when you think about how well he played last year for Creighton. One of the best basketball programs in the country. Pull up in the lane, short for Glover. He comes up limping. Grabbing his left knee. Rebounded by Colbert. He's not doing well. Wes Glover. Really not moved well since he took that shot. Perry will return and well, hopefully Glover's okay. I don't know if he came down awkwardly, but he's grabbing just above his left knee there and up in the quad area. He's leaning back when he took that shot, crossing the lane. Didn't, like he, didn't look like he stepped on anybody's foot or anything like that. R.J. Jones lets it fly and tipped out of bounds. K-State's going to keep it on this end. You look out on the floor and you see the difference of the MIAA Division II Emporia State just 
do not have the same size level out there as you see from K-State. K-State, about the only thing they haven't done well here is shoot it from three. They hit the early one from Cam Carter. They're just two of 11 as a team, along with the step back. But Caleb Rich in the middle of that, trying to get the rebound and tracked down by McGee, who goes to the deck to get it. Arebu. I said doing the dirty work a little bit earlier. Kel McGee beat everybody to the basketball and ends up a couple of passes later with an easy Emporia State basket. A little stagnant right here by K-State. Weak side board. Colbert hangs and he's fouled. Now you wonder, did something happen to Peyton Roger Schmidt? Number one, Peyton Roger Schmidt. That's his second foul. He's still on the ground. Colbert had great rebounding position on the offside, but right here, kind of leaned back, did not take a good shot, did not stuff it or go to the rim, so he'll get fouled without a basket. But then you watch number one, Peyton Roger Schmidt. It's like a jar to the left leg, not a twist of the ankle. Not a good last minute here for either team when it comes to the no. injuries as Quez Glover limped off and now they're attending to Peyton Roger Smith. And Wilson. And we'll stay here. And now he's up and going to take him to the end of the bench here. And without putting any pressure on that leg, they may take him all the way into the locker room. Yep, they sure are. Luke Sauber, K State's trainer, there to assist as well. Basketball injuries are seeming to be a bigger part of the game as the years have unfolded. Maybe there were injuries in basketball all the time, but boy, it's been a factor to discuss the last five or 10 years. We talked about the size with Emporia State. They can switch everything when they're on defense. They really feel like they're interchangeable. No big guys except for Peyton Roger Schmidt and then Darius Yohi, and he's not available tonight. Actually, he's been pressed into action. He just checked in. Whoa. So he's been injured much of the preseason. So but he's a good defensive player. Was a four-time defensive player of the year in American Midwest Conference with William Woods University at NAIA team. So I wonder if his mind was locked in like I'm gonna play or I think I was gonna sit tonight. K-State 10 of 11 from the free throw line. Long trying to go off the glass that time comes up short. Kaluma with the floor spread. He drives it and has it blocked by Yohi. Cats get it back. Perry for three. Over the back by the Wildcats. Jarrell Colbert. Knocking the ball out of bounds. Roy State did a good job of getting back on defense. And slowing down the K-State fast break. Cam Carter back in, working on a 15-point first half as we approach the four-minute mark. Both teams in the bonus. Set play here by the Hornets. Trying to isolate the guy who's been very effective. And a charge taken by the big man, Jarrell Colbert. Anticipating that he was going to make a move to his right hand, he was there defensively to get the charge. One on one. Hey, yeah, look at this fit, footwork. <laughs> Fortunately, he ended up getting the call from a K-State perspective because otherwise the baseline cutter was wide open. Both these teams have big trips coming up, Ben. K-State plays on Monday night in Las Vegas against USC, one of the top 20 preseason ranked teams. Colbert with the tip, 
Yeah. He's having a nice first half off the bench. He's got seven. And doing it at both ends here in the last minute. And Emporia State flies tomorrow to Lakeland, Florida to play in a small college basketball Hall of Fame classic. They'll have two games Friday and Saturday. Nice cut. Hale McGee can't finish it in the lane. Here comes Arthur Kaluma. Good ball movement. R.J. Jones. And a nice save in the corner by Darius Yohe. Yohe's done a pretty good job coming out, not expecting to play, and it's been effective here in his first couple of minutes. Evans. Perry looking for Colbert in case State would turn it over. Good idea, but the angle was not there to make that pass. Six turnover of the half. Jarrell Colbert some good minutes, and K-State leads by 14. However you do the holidays, do it together in the Chevy that's right for you. The strong and capable Chevy Silverado, the award-winning Chevy Equinox, or the all-new Chevy Trax. This holiday season, do more together in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups, or get $2,000 total cash allowance on this Silverado. Chevrolet, together let's drive. BK Royal Crispy Wraps, eat it with the meal or have it as a snack, only $2.99, it's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. Discover different Black Friday deals at Target each week. I never knew there was a love like this before. Emma has someone to show me a love. Show me Weekly Black Friday deals you can't miss. Get low prices and early Black Friday deals at Target. We want it all. We want beards and lattes. Great. Oh. We want to be invited Great. and not attend. <laughs> Great. We want to take the shortcut. <laughs> you lost. And not be in danger. Reverse. Sadly, we can't have it all, <laughs> except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips, it's a game changer. Since I was little, I wanted to be a part of a team. Come here, buddy. Nice shots. I've played just about every sport there is growing up. My mom's been there for me through every season. We'll get him next time. Mostly to keep me fueled and cheer me on. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Love you, too. It took me a minute, but I finally found what I love. All thanks to her. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. Welcome back to Manhattan, Kansas State up 40 to 26 as we look at Kansas State's upcoming schedule here on Big 12 now. Jeff Mitty and the women's team will open exhibition play on and Coach Mitty's going to have a heck of a team this year. He's got Yoki back and everybody else back from last year and they will be a threat at the top of the Big 12 this year. So they're going to be fun to watch, and uh, no doubt they'll be filling in Bramlage Coliseum here as well. Yeah, great inside presence, and then the excellent guard play to add to it. K-State has a lot of capability to beat you in many ways. See who closes this half strong. K-State stretched it out to 14. Do the Hornets have a run in him here as Owen Long gets the step back to go his first two-pointer. If they're going to have a run, they want Owen Long to be a part of it because he can get his own shot. You saw him lean back even over taller guys. K-State's defenders in position. He can still get it off. 
Inside to Bonnie. Michaela Rich, folks. He is an explosive finisher and has his first two. What a great pass by R.J. Jones to get him the ball. And right now, you have out there three freshman guards along with Cam Carter. So how well will they function and play off of each other? Nice backdoor cut along the baseline. And man, can Buddy Rich finish. Left hand, one-handed pass. Corey State's help defense trying to get there. But just not in time. Butler has to stand there and watch the dunk over his head. Long, an 88% free throw shooter a year ago, misses the front end. So David Gazan is really your only big guy right now. Very fast lineup for K-State. Carter lets it fly. Thought he had it. I was on target because it was right in front of us, but caught some front rim. Now Long with the deep three. So he's fun to watch. 11 now. He's in double figures. He's going to launch that thing if you give him just a little bit of room. RJ spinning to the left hand and a whistle inside. Sharp angle to try to make that shot, but I think this gets a foul whistle ball. was on the rebound. So K State's going to have a one and one. Yeah, over the back at David Gasson. I think he's going to shoot. Yeah, he's shooting over two players with his left hand going away from the basket, a hard shot, but. Day Day aims to the line. Day Day is a Jordan Brand Classic High School All American, the third at K State. Curtis Kelly back in 06 and Wally Judge in 09 and others. Well, they replaced it with David Gasson at the line. Yeah, it was on the rebound. So this is a one and one. The veteran move by the freshman to go, I'll shoot those free throws. <laughs> Great experience for David this summer playing for the Dutch national team. Average nine points and six rebounds. And Coach Dang said he gained a lot of confidence from that experience. It's a tough choice. You can't be in two places at once. So he didn't go with K-State on their overseas trip. Instead played with his country. And it turned out to work very well for him. Buddy with the board. Carter fires it to Gasson. Quickly off the floor to hammer it down. That's the kind of speed you want from your big guys. David Gasson running down the middle, reminding you of what Naquan Tomlin had did for the Wildcats last year. That's how David Gasson shot 70% from the floor last year. Day Day Ames rips a three from the corner. Stay speeding themselves up and looking more comfortable in the last couple of possessions. Butler time to answer. Gasson. Gasson leading the break. Not this time for Ames and K-State whistled for the foul. But you see some of their explosive ability here when they get out and start running. Look at that great pass by Cam Carter. Chose not to throw a bounce pass. Felt like there was room to put the steam on it and get the ball to David Gasson just in time. It didn't look like he was going to be able to catch and dunk the ball. Maybe get it off the backboard, but boy, he quickly put that thing through as he's flying past the basket. Owen Long finally gets a rest for Emporia State. He's worked hard tonight. Here's a number Jerome Tang will like. It, you know, we're only halfway through here, so this could change. But 11 assists, only 5 turnovers. On a night where neither team is making a big number of three-point shots. K-State's taken a lot of them, but they've been so good at the free throw line. 11 of 13 are the Wildcats in the free throw line. Line drive free throw by Darius Yohi. Okay, stay to get a timeout and set up a last second shot here as there's a two and a half second differential. This is situational basketball if they really want to practice in a game situation. They can do it in practice, but it's a lot better to work against a team that doesn't know what you're doing. 
soon as you make the play call in practice, all the defenders know exactly what's going to happen because they're on the team. It's been a while since Emporia State played K State in an exhibition, and it's really nice how KU and K State have basically focused in on the region schools in the state of Kansas to give them an opportunity to come play in this environment at this setting and get great exposure for their team. Emporia State last played here in 2019. So out of the timeout, it's Cam Carter, the three freshmen, and David Gasson. Plenty of time on the clock. They want to use as much of that time as possible. Last year, KC had a lot of sets that they called. This year, they won't do it quite as much. Ames to Jones. What a way to end the half. They find R.J. Jones from deep. And that's what he does. K-State with 51 in the first half. And they shoot 48%, and R.J. Jones sends him to the locker room up by 18. And standing by courtside, here is Sophie Smith. Thanks, guys. Coach, you had a lot of fouls in the first half. How do you keep playing aggressive defense without fouling? Well, it was we were being lazy at the end and reaching down, and we've tried to work real hard on that. And we had some guys who we still have to break that habit. I thought we cleaned it up and started playing with our chest and our feet more. What needs to happen coming out of that locker room to keep this offensive momentum well, we going? we got to show some more consistency in how we play. Our, we're not, our pace is not fast enough. And uh, we run too much in practice to not come out here and play faster than this. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Coach. All right, thanks, Sophie. Yeah, K-State at times really got up and down the floor with that pace Jerome Tang was looking for. And they put 51 points on the board here in the first half in this exhibition matchup. However you do the holidays, do it together in the Chevy that's right for you. The strong and capable Chevy Silverado, the award-winning Chevy Equinox, or the all-new Chevy Trax. This holiday season, do more together in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups, or get $2,000 total cash allowance on this Silverado. Chevrolet, together let's drive. The one thing we can never get more of is time. Or can we? This is Watson X Orchestrate. AI designed to multiply productivity by automating tasks. When you want an extra business, you can build digital skills to help human resources spend less time generating offer letters, writing job recs, and managing schedules, and spend more time on humans. Let's create more time for your business with Watson X Orchestrate. IBM, let's create. At Jersey Mike's, they freshly grill your hot subs right in front of you. You can't get that smell anywhere else unless you have one of these. Don't mind me. Take the sizzle to go. Okay. Whoops. I'll pay for those. Here you go, Danny. Time to get these smells home. Grilled right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Ah, that's a good sizzle. We want it all. We want beards. And lattes. Great. Oh. We want to be invited. Great. And not attend. Great. We want to take the shortcut. You lost. And not be in danger. Reverse. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. Since I was little, I wanted to be a part of a team. Come here, buddy. Nice shot. 
I've played just about every sport there is growing up. My mom's been there for me through every season. We'll get him next time. Mostly to keep me fueled and cheer me on. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Love you too. It took me a minute, but I finally found what I love. All thanks to her. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. And welcome back to Manhattan at the half. Exhibition matchup, Kansas State up 51 to 33. Ben Boyle, Stan Weber with you here courtside. And Stan, as we were at that first 20 minutes, I like the fact K-State 12 assists, only five turnovers. A lot of times in these first exhibition games, it, it can be a turnover fest, but K-State pretty sharp. Yes, they were, and you've got to limit your mistakes. So they didn't run as much as they wanted to. You heard Jerome Tang talk about that, and they were at their best when they were going fast. But they didn't turn it over. That's impressive. But they weren't making mistakes when things weren't going as smoothly. Emporia State did a good job, I thought, getting back on defense, making them run through them some things. But limiting the turnovers is something that K-State had a big focus in with all the new players. You don't have Marquise Noel with the ball in his hands all the time, running pick and rolls and safely taking care of the basketball. So with this new group, it was a big emphasis. So far in the first half, they did a nice job of not turning over the basketball. Let's take a look at our first half numbers. Emporia State got good play from their newcomer, Solomon Arebu, who had 11, and then Owen Long had 10. But uh, overall, K-State shooting at a good clip overall, only 4 of 17 from three, although they get the late three to beat the buzzer from R.J. Jones. Yeah, not a lot of three-point makes, but K-State able to speed the ball down the court and then hit their free throws. When they forced Emporia State to foul, they went to the line and did a nice job there. So a very solid first half. You look up and you go, wow, they already got 51 points in the first half. With the speed they play, they can make it look easy at times with an 18-point differential here at the half against Emporia State. Cam Carter leading the way with 15. Jarrell Colbert had seven off the bench for K-State. We'll have more after this from halftime. on the line. Good! It's good! However you do the holidays, do it together in the Chevy that's right for you. The strong and capable Chevy Silverado, the award-winning Chevy Equinox, or the all-new Chevy Trax. This holiday season, do more together in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get $2,000 total cash allowance on this Silverado. Chevrolet, together let's drive. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99, it's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. Discover different Black Friday deals at Target each week. I never knew there was a love like this before. Never had someone to show me a love. Show me love. Weekly Black Friday deals you can't miss. Get low prices and early Black Friday deals at Target. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <gasps> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster. And know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. Bucket. I'm gonna give you a chance. Hey man, somebody come get the ball, man. I ain't shooting him. He don't want that. Back up. He don't want that. Ah! What's up, K-State fans? I'm Quez Glover. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm a senior and I'm a guard. What's up, K-State fans? I'm Tyler Perry. I'm from Fort Coffee, Oklahoma. I'm a senior and I'm a guard. Now you're gonna get to know us through a little game of 2K. 
Uh, I really believe in what the coaching staff and their vision. I feel like we got a really good team, a lot of good pieces, and I'm really excited to make a run. It was the coaching staff for me. What Tang and them said they were gonna do, like, I really believe they believe that. And so um, it was easy to come around and, you know, be bought into everything that they believe in. I am really grew up playing football my whole life. Football was my favorite sport. I mean, it still is, but my size, so I, I started playing basketball. Ref. And ever since then, I kind of just dove in and we started working hard with my dad and my trainers. I never looked back since then. You know, I really picked up every sport at a young age, but then, like, you know, over time, basketball just became, I fell in love with it. And so, you know, oh, it became man. easy over time to do. <laughs> Uh, I got a playlist called Toxicity. It got a lot of like Brent Fayez, Jivion, Tory Lanez, Drake. Tory Lanez is insane. I get in my feelings a lot. Mine is called Game Day. I got like a lot of Rod on there. I got Party in the USA on that joint. <laughs> I didn't really grow up watching cartoons. I watched Disney Channel. I like Good Luck Charlie, Jesse, Good stuff like Charlie, that. Good Luck Charlie, whack. That's ah, that's all. But I would probably say uh, Jimmy Neutron. Fire. Codename Kids Next Door. Another one. No. Yes. Pineapple Pizza is crazy. I see you, baby. I see you, baby. Pineapple Pizza yeah. is crazy. Uh, off court, my favorite shoes are probably uh, Dunks. I'm going to go um, probably the Jordan 4s. <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble after this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble. People might not know her. It's a, a singer named Cassie. It started, last name was started V or something. That's like my baby. Woo. My first celebrity crush was probably Oh Madison. man, That's oh all. man, That's all. oh God. <laughs> Madison Pettis, I ran into her when I was a sophomore and um, I got starstruck. Now probably Mariah the Scientist. She need to leave Thug alone. <laughs> the Notebook. I still ain't seen it. The Notebook, my favorite movie. Probably Aladdin, the one with Will Smith in it. Throw him up. Hat bad switch, bro. I'm gonna give you a chance. Throw it back. Hey man, somebody come get the ball, man. I ain't shooting with you. Nah, he got me messed up. Back up. He don't want that. Ah, man. He don't want that. Ah. Easy dub, too. Uh, looking forward to seeing the fans and going out there and playing with my teammates. Go Cats. Go Cats. We started at 12, winning 11 deep. This guy's up, man. Let's go. And dropping down since 9-6. What happened when the Big 8 met the Southwest? Seven Heisman's. Count them. We're six at the net, five on the floor, and four schools stronger. We put up threes, throw up deuces, and make one thing clear. We've always been greater than 12. However you do the holidays, do it together in the Chevy that's right for you. The strong and capable Chevy Silverado, the award-winning Chevy Equinox, or the all-new Chevy Trax. This holiday season, do more together in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups, or get $2,000 total cash allowance on this Silverado. Chevrolet, together let's drive. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99, it's a hunger hack, and it fits in one hand. At Target, get low prices on lights. I never knew there was a love like this before. Never had someone to show me a love. Show me love. Love like this before. Love like this before. I never knew there was a love like Light up your holidays for less at Target. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <gasps> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster. And know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer.
Our halftime continues from Manhattan. Wildcats up 51 33 over the Hornets. As we look at some of our first half highlights, and it was a transfer from Creighton, Arthur Kaluma getting it started for the Cats. Using the new offense to get a driving lane and take it all the way to the basket. So very good at that. He's going to be one of the best. But shooting the basketball from outside is something K-State really thinks you're going to be able to do. Quez Glover, the transfer from Sanford, gets it done. David Gasson hustling against a block. Watch this pass. And Carter coming in from the other side. That's the kind of recognition you want. One-handed, backdoor cut. How about Buddy Rich throwing it down? And right before the half, another freshman, R.J. Jones, knocks it in. K-State did not make a ton of three-pointers, but they made one right at the end. The guy who's really good up for the Wildcats is Cam Carter. Right at the beginning of the ballgame, he's knocking it down from outside the arc. And he is taking on the scoring role, driving, stepping through, under control, beating the help defense there getting a steal and leading the way. If you're not going to stop him, he'll take it all the way to the rim and score. Cam Carter leading the scorers today with 15 points. He's done it all. Three-pointers, dunks, layups. Cam Carter's career-high 17 points, Ben, last year, and he has 15 already here in the first half. Well, you don't want to get your career high in an exhibition game, though. <laughs> you want to save those numbers. Well, let's, for... don't, let's don't tell him he has 15. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want to save some of that for USC, Cam, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But, no, he's looked very impressive in the first half, and uh, it's important to see that, that change in role for him, uh, you know, because he's going to be one of the guys this year, and it uh, looks like he stepped up, and he's taken it here in this first half playing very well. Well, it's not easy to do, Ben. You can say, hey, you're playing a new role, but when you've had great success for a whole season playing the way K-State did with him doing the things, it's easy to revert back and do the things you know you do well and not think about the things they need you to do well, but tonight he's done a great job of knowing he needs to score the basketball and been effective at it. Let's revisit your keys to victory. Uh, Hornets did a pretty good job on the turnovers, not so much on the rebounding as the size really wore Emporia State down through that first 20 minutes. Yeah, they tried to rebound and brought people back, but K-State still got eight offensive rebounds, and that allowed them to get to the free throw line and shoot free throws very well. K-State trying to set the tone here at home. It's not a packed Bramlage Coliseum, but a pretty good crowd for the exhibition. And the students, they've done a great job of coming out and getting ready for this next season as we go on November 1st into basketball season. And the new offense, you know, they haven't shot a lot of threes. They're probably going to make more threes than they did in the first half with four three-point makes, yet they got 51 points, shot 49% in the first half. So they've done a nice job of testing that new offense. And I especially like when guys are cutting from the weak side as someone's driving beating the defender to the basket, which leads to the easiest layups and even dunks if there's a good pass. Let's check in with Sophie Smith for an update on the Hornets and Craig Doty coming out of the locker room. Sophie. Thanks, guys. I got to talk with Coach Doty, and he said they just need to handle the physicality in the second half. When you're going up against a Power 5 school, you just have to match that physicality and limit the number of chances on offense. And for a lot of the half, they did, but once K-State kind of got the running game going, got some fast break opportunities, they, they had a couple of big runs there that really extended the game. Dorian Finister gets the start in the second half. Carter starts the second half the way he began the game with the triple, and he has his unofficial career high here in an exhibition game with 18. Ben, just whisper that so he doesn't hear you say that. And one of the things that K-State did in the first half that allowed them to separate is this guy could get his shot off. Owen Long was slowing down the driving of Oraybu. He was hurting K-State a lot early in the ball game, and the Wildcats adjusted to Solo's game a little bit. He has not gotten as many easy shots. Robbed inside to Arthur Kaluma as Gasson playing out on the perimeter, feeds it inside to his fellow big man. There's an example of that offense. It wasn't help defense there at the immediate catch, right? It took a second longer because everyone spread out. That pass was not crisp. Okay, if that were a football pass, that would have been intercepted because he lofted it in. But when you don't have the help defense around, you can get by with that kind of pass and still get the basketball into the hands of the guy receiving it, Arthur Kaluma. Sophie has some thoughts on the transfer from Creighton. Career high 27 versus BYU. His second 
biggest scoring game was 24 against Kansas in the 22 NCAA tournament. In fact, that early round game, Creighton really had a chance to win that game. Had, had the ball down one in the final minute. And the Blue Jays turned it over, allowing uh, Kansas to advance and eventually win the NCAA tournament that year. Good pass just a little bit late, but it ended up working just fine. So here, Butler was able to make the catch and get the shot. Dorian Finister, Jack Nice has it blocked. Carter, another three. This one up the side of the backboard and out to Perry. You're seeing Dorian Finister here. Remember how good a start he got off to last year with the athleticism and the ability to play on the offensive end. He did a nice job, but then they shut him down after six games. And they hoped they would be able to get the NCAA to look at his season as a redshirt season, and they were able to get that. The news has come down, so he is a redshirt freshman now. He had 10 points in the game last year against Incarnate Word and really did a nice job looking comfortable out there on the floor. But he, Taj Manning, Jarrell Colbert, are guys you really want to see step up their game after being around the program all last year. 21 point advantage now for the Cats as they're off to a good start here to begin the second. Full court. First time they've shown it any full court pressure tonight. Think about all the things Marquise Noel did, but had lockdown defense on ball yeah. against points guards affected everybody. What a went long high off the glass. That was a nice layup. Finister for three. Bang! Dorian Finister with the last five for K State. And timeout in Poria State. Dorian Finister, the redshirt freshman, ringing the bell from distance. Kate's Heating and Cooling's 50th anniversary celebration is going on now with unprecedented savings on new heating and cooling systems. How would you like to join the party? Kate's Kate. With Kate's, you choose the style that fits you best. Will it be 48 months at 0% financing or a 10-year parts and labor warranty on new equipment, including a 10-year annual maintenance contract? Go to katesheatingandcooling.com to make your selection. Who can offer you savings that fit your style? That's right. Kate's Kate. For kickoff, KC, Rally House has the game day gear you're looking for, including Chiefs sideline gear and the latest college styles. Kansas, Missouri, Kansas State, Chiefs and Royals make KC great. Rally House, Rally House, it's your city, it's your house, it's a Rally House. Gear up in store and online at rallyhouse.com. Catch Coach Tang and the Cats in KC on Thursday, December 21st versus Wichita State in the T-Mobile Center. There's the lob. And the stop is perfect. What a play. How about this crowd tonight? Electric. How about that? Jerome Tang loves it. Tickets start at just $15 with a Wildcat 4-pack. Long jumper for Carter. Good. He got it. Our fans were incredible. Yep. The excitement, the energy. Oh, it was just incredible. Go Cats. Championship on the line. Good! It's good! Good crowd here tonight. 
an exhibition game on a Wednesday night to open the season. Kansas State up big, 61-39, and Stan, you'll be heading to Las Vegas as the Wildcats play USC, and Jerome Tank talked about what a great opportunity to, to really build their national brand. Primetime game on TNT with with all the guys, Ernie and Chuck and Kenny, uh, Jack. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a celebration of basketball all day long in the T-Mobile Center down there in Las Vegas because some of the best women's teams in the country will be there playing. I think they're going to play four games during the day with the feature game being K-State and USC. What a way to tip off the season. LeBron James kid, Bronny, part of the USC program. Amathir with the step through. His first bucket of the game. That's how the Hornets started, but K-State slowed down that ability to drive to the basket. Aliyuk, Kassan, hammers it home. Carter, but for me, coming from the corner, that's that kind of offside read you want to see. Jerome Tang out of the timeout, strikes again, drawing up the alley oop between two veteran players. But you want good ball and player movement in the offense, but after you call timeout, it makes it a lot easier to say, sneaking over from the left corner. Here he comes and flashes for a dunk. It's hard on a defender when he's standing out the three-point line just a second before. Good delivery on that pass, though. Boy, State trying to get some set offense together. Getting a pass near the elbow gives them a good chance to get into their sets and movements. And anytime you can get the ball to Solomon or Rebu, good things are going to happen. He had 11 in the first half. And at the line looking for more. Played at Ferris State, was on a team that won 24 games. They reached the second round of the Division II tournament like Emporia State did last year. He was at Wisconsin Parkside the year before, but he has a scoring mentality. We saw that in the first half. You give him a chance to get the basketball, he's going to go and go until you stop him. Yeah, he had 38 in a game last year. Lake Superior State's on throw up 38 points. There's Perry. There's Tang saying, let's get some movement, guys. Leads to a turnover. Aredo feeds it ahead. Butler. And the tip in is good from Palafield. That's what we did not see in the first half is K-State making the mistakes with the new offense. Owen Long tried to get a steal in the backcourt, was called for a foul. Will McNair back in. Taj Banning back in. He started tonight, played the first couple of minutes, and I don't think he's been in since. Nope, just just over two minutes of playing time tonight. The most minutes by any Wildcat tonight is Kaluma. He's now reached the 20 minute mark of playing time. Turnaround from Ames, puts up an air ball, an ill-advised shot there from the freshman. And let's go courtside to Sophie Smith with some thoughts on Arthur Kaluma. Thanks, guys. The six foot seven Creighton transfer Arthur Kaluma applied for early entry into the NBA draft before withdrawing in late May. He was working out with the Boston Celtics when he heard about Kansas State, and shortly after, he took a visit to Manhattan and knew it was the place to be. And what a get out of the portal. Get a veteran player like Kaluma. Ready for a big junior season here at K-State. You're watching Big Club now on ESPN+. Plus. How'd you get that mixed with your combo? These fries and rings. At BK, you can build your combo. Frozen Coke, too? Yep, sides and drinks, too. BK, having your way. 
Discover different Black Friday deals at Target each week. Black Friday deals you can't miss. Get low prices and early Black Friday deals at Target. We want it all. We want beards and lattes. Great. Oh. We want to be invited Great. and not attend. <laughs> Great. We want to take the shortcut. <laughs> you lost. And not be in danger. Reverse. Sadly, we can't have it all. <laughs> except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. Since I was little, I wanted to be a part of a team. Come here, buddy. Nice shots. I've played just about every sport there is growing up. My mom's been there for me through every season. We'll get him next time. Mostly to keep me fueled and cheer me on. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Love you too. It took me a minute, but I finally found what I love. All thanks to her. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. At Jiffy Lube, it's our job to keep you moving. With a full range of services from oil changes and tire rotations to filters, wipers, and more, we've got what your car needs right when you need it. So you're ready for whatever's next. Putting you in the driver's seat of car care. That's a job for Jeff. We've been living it since day one. Nothing held back. All for the love of soccer. Here's a look at the coaches Big 12 preseason poll Kansas the favorite and the number one team in the country entering the season and Houston getting two of the first place votes and boy there's so many teams in the league now you you can't go through all of them but thoughts on K State coming in there at number six getting plenty of respect because it used to be for the last 10 years or so if you were picked six that would be six out of ten and you're gonna, I don't know we're yeah. better than that but now out of 14 in the level of basketball played and the coaching prowess of these coaches as you add Houston to the conference. So I think K-State would love to uh, be right in there in that mix at the end of the year and be an NCAA tournament team. That's finished third a year ago before going on that run in the NCAA tournament. McNair. And uh, Weak side dunk on the rebound from Taj Manning. Welcome back to the floor, Taj Manning. He's a good defensive player. Does all the things right, knows what's going on with the scouting report. Now just needs to apply it onto the court. Reach in foul. I think they'll get Cam Carter. Yep. Just joining us, Quez Glover, a transfer, fifth year senior out of Knoxville, Tennessee, was playing playing well in the first half, but we've not seen him since he left the floor injured. He was back out and he's on the bench, did not warm up for the second half. But hopefully nothing serious. As he's got a chance to be a big part of this team this year. Guy who's got over a thousand career points. Played in 99 career games at the Division I level. Yeah, he has that experience factor. It would be nice to have him or Tyler Perry in there interchangeably, along with Day Day Ames, a freshman. Perry with the pull up, splash. First bucket for Tyler Perry. A guy, Jerome Tang, called maybe the best shooter in the country, and there you saw that high release for his first three. Oh, around Colbert sending one in reverse. 
It helps side defense against a guy who knows how to drive it. Oh, Ray Boo. Oh, Ray Boo. Up here, going to take it with his left hand. And no. Clean and out of here. Nice block. Jarrell Colbert, six foot ten. Always good to have a rim protector on the roster, and Colbert can certainly fill that role for the Cats this year. And he showed some offense in the first half, too, with seven. Oh, and long answers the three from Perry. He could be an offensive force at any time. As far as the bigs, you also have Will McNair in there, who can give you some strength on the inside. So a couple of big guys will be helping K State on the roster this year. Perry looking for another one. Too strong. Fight for the rebound. Pulled out of there by Comathir. Comathir in the end and knocked out of bounds. Comathir, 13 MI AA last year. We talked about Owen Long. Comathir. Elijah has a brother, Ian. He is a freshman now and playing for Colorado State. Not the big guy on the guard. And after all that, K State gets the steal. The poor state bench came off the chairs and thought they were going to have an offside dunk, but the ball just not delivered perfectly. RJ stepping out of bounds. Over number, it's like seven on Kansas State. There it is. Pretty clean game for first time under the lights for both of these clubs. Bounced inside and a jam for Commodore. He's having a good second half. But oh, what a good pass that was. Caden Evans had three different Wildcats coming to help, and he got the ball through him. Colbert runs it down and scores. That's where you have no help defense on the backside. Good recognition by Tyler Perry to say, hey, you're open. Just let me lob it up there. Let Jarrell go get it. And a fade away from Long, not this time. Another rebound from Arthur. Job of getting back. And even though they're overmatched, played some good defense at times. Taj Manning on a nifty feed from Perry. That's good athleticism. He's a, he looked like a long jumper there where he jumped, seemed too far away from the basket, but after he flew in the air, then now the vertical had the horizontal that time to make it an easy layup. Boy, you see the veteran play there from Perry. Instead of forcing up a tough shot, guarded shot with a second on the shot clock, instead he finds the cutter for an easy layup. We've seen some good offense. I don't know if both coaches are going to be happy with some of the defense we've seen recently, but. Colbert, another easy one. It gets the jam. Tyler Perry putting his mark on this game here in the second half. Caden Evans trying to get downhill, throws it away into the hands of Perry. Colbert got his hands on it. Transition three, front rim for Perry. Long misses, tracked down by Colbert. Both teams a little tired. Yeah, there. you get underneath that 12 minute mark and it's amazing these athletes, they, they're used to running four or five minutes hard then just a little break and they'll come back at you. But now as it lingers on under the 12 minute mark without a timeout, a little fatigue out there. Six on the shot clock for Tyler Perry. Pulls up for three. Boy, it's had been a tough shooting night for Tyler. RJ trying to run it down and out of bounds. It'll send us to a timeout. 74 52. Kansas State. How'd you get that mixed with your combo? These fries and rings. At BK, you can build your combo. Frozen Coke, too? Yep, sides and drinks, too. BK, have it your way. 
Discover different Black Friday deals at Target each week. Black Friday deals you can't miss. Get low prices and early Black Friday deals at Target. There he is. It's right there. Oh, he's straight ahead. He's straight ahead. Straight ahead. Go, go, go. Cover more ground in the Kia Sportage Turbo Hybrid. Kia, movement that inspires. Since I was little, I wanted to be a part of a team. Come here, buddy. Nice shot. I've played just about every sport there is growing up. My mom's been there for me through every season. We'll get him next time. Mostly to keep me fueled and cheer me on. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Love you. It took me a minute, but I finally found what I love. All thanks to her. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. We want it all. We want beards and lattes. Great. Oh. We want to be invited. Great. And not attend. <laughs> Great. We want to take the shortcut. <laughs> you lost. And not be in danger. Reverse. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. Eleven oh three left to play in this exhibition game. Seventy four fifty two. K State will get ready to do it for real against USC out in Vegas on Monday night. Stan, what's Jerome Tame look, looking for here in the final eleven minutes of this one? Well, he wants to see the focus all the way through. He talks about how much they run. They feel like they're in shape, but game shape is completely different. You look up at the scoreboard. You're winning by twenty two points against a team that's overmatched. You could easily play out this remaining part of the second half and say, okay, let's get on to USC, but you just can't afford to do that. You got so many new players that haven't played big time minutes, pressure minutes. So he's gonna want to see how do they play through the fatigue that happens in a ball game. And you want to finish it off strong. You almost want to act like the, the score is close. Reduce turnovers. Have Intense defensive sets like Cam Carter making a steal right there. Carter weaving his way on the break. Fenister's going to try another three. And strong rebound from Butler. There's a Rebu in the lane. He loves it in there. He's having quite a night. 14 in his. You can see how you here for Emporia State. You can see how Emporia State has the pieces to play at a big time level in the MIAA with Owen Long leading it. He could shoot any time, the lefty. And then the driving ability of Rebu. The Arthur Kaluma hits. You got the big guys in Peyton Roger Schmidt and Darius Yohe that could get it done. And then some role players, tough guys like Kale McGee, number zero. Aiden Evans. And he said, don't forget about me. 76% of all of his shots last year for behind the arc. So he's been waiting a little bit, but he's a threat back there. Yeah, he's got range. And this is his third year to start. Average 8.1 last year as a sophomore. Spin move, turned away. Good defense there from the Hornets. Carter trying to find a driving lane and gets bumped and fouled. One of the things that's going to be interesting, Ben, about the officiating this year, there's always emphasis, and then you wonder as the season grinds on, especially in conference play, how much of that emphasis is there. But to take a charge, you got to get in front of a guy way before you used to. You've got to be there and be in a position to take it as they are ready to take a step before they take another step and go into their shot. So we'll see if that continues. 
Tyler Perry got another one. Two triples in the second half for the transfer out of North Texas. Conference USA Player of the Year last year. NIT Most Outstanding Player. North Texas went on a nice run to win that NIT. Originally from Fort Coffey, Oklahoma. What I like about him, he had five buzzer beaters at North Texas to either win the game or send it into overtime. And he had a huge bucket down the stretch in that NIT championship game as well. It's interesting tonight that he didn't force things early. He's been a bigger factor here in the second half than he was in the first. Yeah, he was just a, pretty much a distributor for the most part of that first half. Done a nice job of getting everybody else involved. Has five assists. David Gasson gets up limping. Is it actually feeling an injury on his leg or just his feelings not being happy about getting called for an offensive foul on the screen? Will McNair back in for David Gasson. Will's in his sixth year. Was at New Mexico State for most of his career. Was at Mississippi State last year. Coach Craig Doty is going to have to be very happy with what he's seen from Emporia State. They are fighting here in the second half, even though they're way down. Carter with the run out after the steal by Finister. Floating through the air for that layup. Good anticipation by Finister, knowing when you drive the ball hard on one baseline, almost always you jump to over the out of bounds and throw it to the opposite corner. He had his hand in the passing lane and knocked it out. Thomas there with the short corner fadeaway. Having a big second half and double figures of 12. Two-man game on the right side. Now I'm going to reverse the basketball. Good help, D from McGee. Forces the turnover. And jam for Cal McGee. A sophomore out of Wisconsin has his first bucket. The boy in area community college, and he's a feisty player. Gets rewarded with a dunk there. Average 14 a game last year. And another newcomer that Emporia State will count on this year. Looks like he will not back down to anybody. Step through by Arebu. Can't finish and rebounded by McNair. Hornets look like they have a second wind right now. Smoothly running up and down the court. Perry. Nice pump fake and gets the roll. Good stop and go right at the front of the rim. High off the window won't go. Now McNair just threw it away. <laughs> he thought he had the outlet. And Caden Evans snuck in there. A little more of a challenge for Kale McGee. He's a left-hander trying to get that ball up and over the Wildcats using his offhand. But finally on a second time around, we'll go to the free throw line after being fouled. Cam Carter's got 20 for the Cats. You're watching Big 12 now on ESPN Plus. K Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And BK, have it your way. Discover different Black Friday deals at Target each week. Black Friday deals you can't miss. Get low prices and early Black Friday deals at Target. There he is. It's right there. Oh, he's straight ahead. He's straight ahead. 
Cover more ground in the Kia Sportage Turbo Hybrid. Kia, movement that inspires. With the Venture X card from Capital One, you earn two times miles on every purchase. The noise canceling. You're being too loud. Good choice. Ooh, my lucky number. Plus, earn five times miles on flights <laughs> and ten times miles oh. on hotels through Capital One Travel. What's in your wallet? We've been living it since day one. Nothing held back. All for the love of soccer. Welcome back to Big 12 now. I'm Sophie Smith. When asked about the excitement of playing in Bramlage Coliseum again, Coach Tang said that the fans are the best. They continue to sell out this arena and make it the best environment for them. He is also says that he's so thankful of how they impact the community from in showing up for all these games. Yeah, Stan, the arena sold out for the year. I mean, they oversold the student section where they got to get on an app now, like 24 hours for the, before the game and claim their ticket. Uh, that's what the demand is here, and the rest of the arena is sold out uh, as Jerome Tang just continues to build the culture and the brand around Kansas State basketball, and it uh, it is certainly a happening here in Manhattan. Well, the connectivity he has with the student body is way more than you'd expect. If you win basketball games, people are going to get excited. We know that. But he's done much more than that. Reaching out, talking to as many groups as possible, the hang with Tang where he's out at different locations and able to talk to the students. But then he's always encouraging them. There are some big events, like at the beginning of the year, they'll go over and be in Bill Snyder Family Stadium and have the whole student body there who's able to make it and wants to be there. And he'll go over some things with them at that point. Maybe give his cell phone number out. I don't want to do that just in case he doesn't want it out. But I think he tells the students what it is. Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> I think somebody called him the next day because they ran out of gas. <laughs> and he helped them. <laughs> no, it's sincere, and it's... Uh, Smart investment. Again, you can win basketball games and your student body is going to be excited, but he's he's made a, a personal relationship between he and then his coaching staff as well, who are very engaging. And almost no turnover on that coaching staff either. That's important. These guys know how to work well together. Buddy Rich back in. The RJ launches for three. Tipped around. Buddy's got it. Buddy Rich with his second basket. He states height advantage there, just tapping the ball around, and it ends up with Buddy Rich scoring. I've been impressed with the on-ball defense so far that we've seen from Jarrell Colbert at six foot ten. K State switches a lot of things. He'll be matched up against all types of players. He really has his knees bent for a big guy. Took a charge earlier. Rich, number 23, looks like if he wants to take a little break from basketball, he could run over to the football stadium and play a little bit as well. <laughs> and he grabs another rebound. He's just one of those guys that the ball finds him because he plays with such energy. He had almost a thousand rebounds in high school. That, that is hard to do in high school. You see him warm up, and you're thinking that has to be one of those transfers that K-State has. They do a good job with that. Who's the new guy? You go, no, he's a freshman. It's his body type. He's got that thickness that you get after a great weightlifting and the type of things that they focus in on. Nutrition, so many important things to be better athletes nowadays, but he already has the body, it looks like he's been around this for a while. Yeah, it, he is physically Big 12 ready. There's no doubt about that. That's kicked. Terrell Colbert <laughs> looking like a point guard out there trying to blast one through the defense. 
the athleticism of the expectations of the big guys. You know, six foot ten and even bigger. You watch them in the NBA, and that's one of the things that Jerome Tang talked about. Finister floats in for two. You talked about running this new offense. One of the things is to let recruits know that if you want to get ready for the NBA, where big guys face up, shoot threes, play with their fate, ball in the hand, and all those things, he's going to allow that to happen here at K State. And it's a, a real break for a guy like Jarrell Colbert. David Gasson and others for K-State. Possibly for Naquan Tomlin, who's suspended right now, but boy, he would have fit this very, very well. All 12 players who've played for Kansas State have scored tonight. It's been a very balanced attack, led by 20 from Cam Carter. Colbert's in double figures with 11. Arthur Kaluma's in double figures with 10. David Gasson is the only player with four fouls for the Wildcats. Korea State fans have got to be very happy with what Solomon or Solo, as he's called, or Raybird can do for this team in his first out. 18 on the night in his first game in the black and gold. And Korea State's going to be hard to guard with Owen Long, a threat all the time outside. Butler. I should say Caden Evans can bomb from the outside. Then they have big guys who can get it done as well. But the driving capabilities of Orebu, a difference maker. K-State's going to see that with Arthur Paluma. Day-Day on the kick out. R.J. Jones got his feet set but couldn't knock it down. Okay, that's what they want in the offense right there. Yeah. How open was that three after the drive? Colbert ahead of the pass with the two-hand jam. How about the big guy running down the middle of the court? And then jumping in, almost getting a steal on the overplay, and said, I'll, I'll guard the point guard. I know it's just an exhibition against a Division II team, but, boy, this game's got to give Colbert some confidence. He's played well on both ends of the floor. Minister transition three, no, rebounded by P.J. Johnson, a junior from Edmond, Oklahoma, in for the Hornets. Arebu, a quick first step, can't finish on the reverse. We saw K-State basketball very, very successful last year with the guys they had, obviously, and they melded them into the best, best version they could be, but I thought you know, adding Colbert and you know, Will McNair gives K-State some size that they did not have yeah. as an option last year. Yeah, specifically in certain matchups where they shouldn't have the size and the bulk in isolated situations. Timeout with 3.06 to go. Jarrell Colbert in his first game as a Wildcat playing well. Crispy wraps, eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. FBK, have it your way. At Target, get low prices on lights. for less at Target. There he is. It's right there. Oh, he's straight ahead. He's straight ahead. Go, go, go. Cover more ground in the Kia Sportage Turbo Hybrid. Kia, movement that inspires. Since I was little, I wanted to be a part of a team. Come here, buddy. Nice shots. I've played just about every sport there is growing up. My mom's been there for me through every season. We'll get him next time. Mostly to keep me fueled and cheer me on. Thanks, Mom. Love you. 
Love you. It took me a minute, but I finally found what I love. All thanks to her. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. Three minutes to play tonight. K-State closing in on perhaps the century mark here. 92-65 lead. We look at our game summary. Arebu with a nice night in his debut for Emporia State. Cam Carter unofficially a career high with 20 for Kansas State. Cats haven't shot it particularly well from deep. They do have nine triples on the night, but just have hammered the Hornets inside with 50 points in the paint. 31 of the 66 shots tonight by the Wildcats have come from behind the arc, yet they have that big number of points in the paint. So that's what they want is the distribution of easy shots at the basket to go with some three-point opportunities. They've made nine so far, and then the free throw shooting. But what a difference it makes if you're a great free throw shooting team. 15 of 17 in a ball game for the Wildcats tonight at the free throw line. Yeah, last year, K-State shot 75% of the free throw line and now I remember Stan doing the first game with you last year I told you K-State was going to be a good free throw shooting team I think I said 70 percent or better does that ring a bell it does now hopefully you didn't bet me with something about that <laughs> and to put it into uh, Ben Boyle's prediction <laughs> mode how about this Ben 74.8 percent from the free throw line last year second best in K-State history so important to keep runs going or stop runs by the other team and they were just money uh, oftentimes down the stretch he just turned it over to Marquise Noel and he was just lights out from the free throw line as Jones goes down to me announcer etiquette is when you say second best in K-State history don't let the fans hang you let them know yeah who you got the record was 73 74 when they used to shoot 15 footers all the time they shot 75.5% versus 74.8 last year. Well, and you look at look at some of the returning numbers, what the guys on this team shot last year. There's the upcoming schedule for Kansas State. Tyler Perry, 87% shooter last year. Quez Glover, 81% shooter. Cam Carter was 71%. Hopefully that improves this year, but you know, those are gonna be three guys that are gonna have the ball in their hands in, in late game situations. Taj Manning in the passing lane and look out. Oh buddy! Dinner is served from Buddy Rich. He took his time, set that up. And his head was pretty close to the rim as he windmilled that thing home. He is so explosive. Nearly gets the block on this end. I think they're going to call a goal 10. You better be explosive if you're wearing bright shoes like this. Uh, he stayed away from the basket, too. Look how far out he jumped. That was almost like a dunk contest. Like I don't want to get too close to the rim. I want to make it as hard as possible. <laughs> I, I don't know how the rim stayed on the backboard. Day Day. A little finger roll. He's crafty. He's got a crafty game, doesn't he? Yeah, no one was there to stop him. The defender was with him, but on his side, so he just kept under control all the way, got to his left hand, and made it look easy. These freshmen are going to be fun to watch, folks. And right now, you look out, you got two, three true freshmen and two redshirt freshmen. So all five players right now on the court are freshmen. Decisions to be made. Will they hold back anybody and say, we'll try to redshirt you this year like they did? They made that decision pretty early. Jarrell Colbert, Taj Manning didn't play last year. And then even though he started out playing, Dorian Finister stopped after six games. It's going to be fun to track Emporia State the rest of the way, though. Got some good parts of coaching staff have really got things in order here with 
Craig Doty in his sixth year. Day Day, spin move, and back out to RJ Jones. High screen from Manning, looking for the pick and roll, but covered up well. Step back from Day Day Ames. For the freshman out of Chicago, Torrey State just wants to get another player into the lineup. Chris Harris from Andover High School in the state of Kansas will get into the ball game as a freshman. Too strong from Johnson. Taj Manning for three. But he's got another one. Missed this one. Got too close to the basket. Yeah. <laughs> Use that orbit station. Lean back. Transition three. No. A little sloppy right now, but K State did get to the 100 point mark. And, oh, Jerome Tang was trying to shut it down there, but Data Ames didn't hear him. 102 68. K-State will win their 29th straight exhibition game here at home. And again, really nice that they're playing the Pitt States, the Emporia States, Fort Hayes States in exhibition games. Won't fall for Devin Conley, and K-State will dribble it out. Well, Stan, 102-68. For a while, Emporia State hung with K-State, but the uh, Cats did what they do and just overwhelmed the Division II opponent here tonight. And something to build on as the Cats look ahead to USC. Yeah, this is what they want to do because there are plenty of things with all the players that got in. They're going to have plenty of teaching moments for everybody to study. Like, here's the decisions you made at this time. Here's how you can improve. That will be an invaluable, but probably the best news for K-State is in the 2023-2024 season, you need Cam Carter to be a lead guy scoring the basketball, and he did it from the first shot tonight all game long. He could, he looked comfortable being an aggressive scorer. Yeah, he, he looked like a bucket, as Jerome Tang said he might, and here's Sophie. Thanks, guys. Coach, how does it feel to get back in Bramlage with your favorite people? Oh, man, love the students. They were unbelievable tonight. Whole student section was packed, and uh, just can't thank them enough. Their energy is special, and that's why really good players across the country are going to want to come play here because of our students. Kim Carter had 20 points tonight. What key role is he going to play this year coming back? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Kim Carter got 20 points tonight. What is, key role is he going to play coming back this year? Yeah, no, we need Cam to be a weapon this year, and he's worked really hard, and so I'm so proud of him and excited for what he's going to be able to do all year long. Yeah, great win, Coach. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Sophie. All right, thank you, Sophie. As we look at some final numbers here, K-State winning at 102-68. Really shot it well all game long. They were at or above 50%, it seemed like, for the entire 40 minutes. Finally able to knock down some threes uh, in that second half. Tyler Perry got a couple to go. And, boy, you got to love the balance, Stan. Everybody scored for K-State uh, that played all 12 players. Yes, a lot of contribution, but anytime you can shoot 52%, make nine three-point shots in a game, and hit 17 of 19 free throws, you're going to like what the scoreboard says from an offensive standpoint. And sure enough, K-State has 102 points, but no easing into the season. It's neutral side, Las Vegas, USC next up for the Wildcats. Yeah, that will be some fun. And Emporia State heads to their tournament down in uh, Lakeland, Florida. And uh, so it'll be fun to watch them as... Uh, they, they look uh, to be uh, on pace for a strong season in the MIAA. Our next broadcast, Bellarmine here against K-State on November 10th. We'll have it for you here on Big 12 now on ESPN+. Well, welcome to the 23-24 season. We hope you enjoyed it. K-State wins it tonight. For Stan Weber and Sophie Smith, I'm Ben Boyle. So long from Manhattan. Oh.
How'd you get that mixed with your combo? These fries and rings. At BK, you can build your combo. Frozen Coke, too? Yep, sides and drinks, too. BK, have it your way. You At Target, get low prices on life. for less at Target. There he is. It's right there. Oh, he's straight ahead. He's straight ahead. Straight ahead. Go, go, go. Cover more ground in the Kia Sportage Turbo Hybrid. Kia, movement that inspires. Since I was little, I wanted to be a part of a team. Come here, buddy. Nice shots. I've played just about every sport there is growing up. My mom's been there for me through every season. We'll get him next time. Mostly to keep me fueled and cheer me on. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Love you, too. It took me a minute, but I finally found what I love. All thanks to her. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment.